Right, thank you for staying with Daybreak. We'd like to hear your views on this conversation we're about to have. It's called Failing in Love. 22422 is SMS line at Trevor Mbija at Zinzi underscore K at Citizen TV Kenya. Use the hashtag Daybreak. We'd like to hear from you. Why do you think relationships don't last that long today? Zinzi here was considering joining another app there just Live. to see. Oh my gosh, no. Guys, Trevor told make, me that he's on Tinder. Who is on Tinder? <laughs> Who is on Tinder? Please come help him. Let's begin this show. This is not true. <laughs> Guys, don't believe he's what Zinzi says. Who's on Tinder? Anyway, let's start with the introductions from this other side and then we decide from there. Why do you think relationships don't last that long nowadays, George? Uh, George Kua, for today's purposes, I'm the convener of a very interesting event called I Don't Get What You Want. Hmm. We discuss men versus women issues. Um, my take on why relationships don't last these days is twofold. One, it's easy to get in, and two, it's easy to left. When you, when you look at what a uh, relationship is, uh, by some people's definition, it's a mutual agreement to share resources, both material and social love, money, relationship, family, children. And we've made it so easy to get into one. So, and we've removed all the barriers to leave. So I, I uh, um, easy come, easy go. Right. And I think that's where we are right now. All right. My name is Ruth Akolo. Thank you for having me. Well, my opinion on why relationships fail is that I believe most people tend to hold on to past trauma experiences and encounters when they first fell in love. Wow. And when it comes to relationships, this could be with your teacher, your mother, your pets, food. So I believe sometimes people tend on to hold on to that and mm -hmm. that money, it grows with them and stays with them. And then they're not able to get over it in the future. And then they pass it on to the next relationship, the next relationship, the cycle continues. And thus they fail. In George, love. relax. George, your point clearly has already got it. George, <laughs> oh hi guys. Oh, um, man with a hundred percent bands, Dixon, Mesa Monday. Why do relationships fail? Failing in love? Too much expectations? Wow. No, do we? When when you come when when we say like right now we are falling in love. I'm in love with you. You know, on this other end, I'm coming with my own things. Mm. The things I want, like I want a ship. At the end of it, there's an epitome of it. What is the epitome of it? I'm, I'm coming with my own wants. You know, somebody else is coming with their own wants. Unless we harmonize these things, we are bound to fail. Mm. And that is it. Okay. Um, I am Wahura Kabutha, and I think one of the reasons is examples, like what we have seen or what we've grown up seeing is not the best, so that's what we end up replicating and repeating. It's just like an endless cycle, because we don't understand what it is or how we're supposed to control it. We don't understand love. We just think, oh, ni mapenzi, but love has its ups and downs, mm -hmm. and we don't want to compromise. Kwanza, our generation, we're like, hey, you mess up, I'm out. <laughs> on to the next one. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> well, uh, <clears throat> my name is Paul Kuria. That I was given by my mom. I did things faster. I mastered them. God made me a pastor. So I'm a pastor at Joy Center, Bruce Spring Hotel. My take is uh, it depends with the purpose you went into it. Because we have, we have very many people, you know, May I use those words, even if they are not in the dictionary? They went, they go to marriage or relationship with a wrong motive. Mm -hmm. That wrong motive, when you don't achieve what you want from your partner, then you quit. All right. For all these are great points. We're really, Trevor and I are just really holding on to ourselves mm -hmm. before we can follow up with follow up questions. Okay. My name is Liz Haimba. I'm a clinical psychologist. Um, why do relationships not last? I think it's because we romanticize relationships. And um, we want to be in love 24-7. We don't really um, recognize that relationships are work and relationships are built. And you, when you make a decision, you stay through thick and thin. Um, also, I agree with... Uh, 
one of us here who said that managing expectations. Right. That um, our expectations sometimes are too high and our expectations are to have that feeling of love mm -hmm. and instead of recognizing that relationships are actually, it's a verb, it's an action. It has to be done, not felt through and through. Right. Thank Ruth. You. Your point kind of really jump-started everything there, including <laughs> George on your side. Uh, you talked about people not healing, the trauma that people come with from their past relationship. Yes. Why is it that people, from where you stand, and even from the interactions you've had with young people, why is it that people don't heal? And I loved what you said. You took us even back to our own childhood and how our parenting really affects us when it comes to how we do relationships. Yes. Um, I'm not quite sure why people choose to not I don't know how to phrase it, but not heal yeah. per se. We tend on to hold on to heart. It's human nature. One wrong move or one bad date and that's it. You're like, I'm done. I'm not going, I'm not trying anything else for the next 10 years. From here on, it's a liberty. Some people go to such extremes. The thing is, I believe um, self-awareness needs to come to play here. As a human being, you need to be aware that you've gone through emotional hurt or some sort of trauma and you need to work on it. Like um, Liz said, uh, you, have to, um, you have to work on yourself and be aware what, what is going on within you so that you can, you know, what, what happens inside is yeah. what you're going to take outside. But Liz, is there a time frame for healing? The microphone is over there, you can have it. Because you're, we're talking about moving past trauma from one relationship to another one. So how do I know that now I don't have that trauma anymore? Because remember, you won't forget these things. They will always be there. Yes, they will always be there. But um, <clears throat> as a psychologist, I would say you use your experiences to learn, make them teaching experiences, so that you 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 benefit from the trauma. They say everything kind of works together for the good yeah. and to make you strong. So you don't want it to break you. You want it to make you. Um, about time frames, everybody is different. So some people will take a few weeks to get over um, a bad relationship. Some will take months. So it's very dependent on the individual person and the personality type. Is it fair to be selfish? So that if I know I was hanging out with Zinzi and her pettiness is the thing I hated the most, <laughs> then the next person I go to, I have to ensure that she is not petty. <laughs> <laughs> well, um, we have to identify what works for us yeah. as individuals. So it starts and with you. It starts be with selfish. you. Yes, not be selfish, but it okay. does start with you. Know your personality type. Know who um, you are attracted to and who works for you. Yeah, but not yes. least that we're on this conversation of healing. Why is it that men don't do healing? Why is it that men jump from relation to relationship to relationship without doing the healing? Mm -hmm. Then you find women. Women actually do the healing. We sit through it. We go through it. This is we do the true. whole ugly cry, <laughs> the whole no contact rule, I am done, you know? Ah. But men, men don't do the healing, please. Well, some men do. And yes, some and some women do too, mm -hmm. yeah. Um, yes, women we are more emotional, so you find we we go through the whole f the whole ice cream, junk food eating phase. We go through the whole crying and sitting with our friends and lying in bed phase. That's very um, physical and mm -hmm. very visible. Yes. But for the men, mm -hmm. um, maybe they'll go to the pub and have a drink, or those who are religious will go to church. Yeah. yeah? yeah. But they have their own ways of processing. Right. Really. Yeah. I mean, well, what are you uh, laughing when I said the no contact um, yes. period, yeah. uh, you know, doing the ugly cry. But you've talked about the reason why you think relationship fails is because of the examples that we've seen. Yeah, I think up. it's culmination of all we're saying, but that was just so I'm doing also keep repeating but also picking up on what Liz was saying I also feel like I don't know that this is a general thing but you know after you break up with someone you always find that the girl moves on hey she's moved on she's looking bomb she's gotten her body goals and then it's like the guy takes longer so you when you've moved on you announce oh I've missed you oh where have you been and you're like hey it's my Malizana I, 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 I think that's like specific to her that's, 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 that's not like general that's just one <laughs> sure. I know but I've heard a couple of people also say it yeah. but uh, yeah speaking on also examples I feel like even um, the relationships around you affect how you will perceive your future husband or your future wife your mm. mom for example for a guy um, that's what they say that you pick someone a guy will pick someone like their mother yeah. or a, a girl will pick someone like their father but if you don't understand your if you don't fully understand your father like 
in a positive manner or if you're seeing just the negative side then what yeah. you're going to pick is someone like your dad and yeah. it's just going to be an endless cycle of whatever relationship that your mom had and then your daughter you're going to show her the same thing yeah. and it's just going to be continuous pastor kuria do you agree with that because the examples that we see are very different for example if your parents were the dictatorial kind if you try and apply that in the 21st century it will not work you see every every child Hold has the, a role the microphone model. every child has a role model yeah and if you had a wrong role model don't expect to be right when you go up mm -hmm. number two I, I want us to be a bit ill because me i got married in 1984. some of you are my kids hey. <laughs> sure yeah. my, last yeah. born, my last born has a kid uh, going now to three years wow. oh. so i um, don't want to talk about experience <laughs> because somebody else might have a better experience than me mm. But this is what I want to say. Nowadays, we have we don't have the agape love. We have eros. Mm -hmm. Eros love is a tick and dog relationship. Mm. Nip and kupe. Right. Mm. You know. Yeah, and and here and here the nip and kupe get it right. Mm -hmm. The tick never give the dog. Mm. <laughs> it always suck the dog. Mm. So when the dog die, the tick does not die. Mm. It just move from the dead dog because the blood has crossed. Wow. Now, the reason many young people are coming together today is because of what I'm getting from you. Na tuliona hata ni kwa hii station tu tuliona msichana hapa anasema kama kijana hana pesa aende kwa mamake. So, when that lady will get married, tell me how wrong with that marriage uh, uh, stay. Mm -hmm. Ni kijana gani ana pesa? Mm -hmm. Mtu anamaliza form form 4 anamaliza kodi akiwa na 23 years. Kama mtu anataka mtu akona pesa, si aolewe na nyanya yake na na guka yake ama baba yake because those are already old right. people. Let, let, me, let me finish. Yes. Mm -hmm. Let me finish my point. Okay. Now, many girls they are going to men because wakiwa pora hawapeleki police station. Mhm. Mm and that's what I'm, I'm wondering so much. Hata tukishinda hapa tukipiga kelele. It will still continue right. if the man a mesota. Okay. But, but but here's the thing pastor just to also um, sort of challenge that perspective. Mm -hmm. When God created um, Adam, mm -hmm. he created work before Adam. He created the garden before Adam. Mm -hmm. There was work, Adam had a purpose, then Adam came and mm -hmm. he found him working. Yes. So you as a 23 year old boy, if you're just finishing college, mm -hmm. then what's your, wh wh why are you going around looking for a wife then in the first place or a girl, if you also haven't then gotten your job yet, your why do, garden yet, why, do, why, why are you do, tilting it? Why do you only read Genesis chapter, chapter, chapter 2 verse number 23 and 24? Okay. Can you go to Sp Pro Proverbs? Mm -hmm. was that one yes you hear that a woman wake up in the morning yes yeah yes. she goes to work yes she buy land yes and her but look husband, at the man look her, at the man that her, she's also married to her husband yes loves whatever the lady is doing yes she is doing that without the support of man yes today if we come now to dot com mm. let's support one another sure. yeah let's share there let's share there the, the burden that we have mm -hmm. yeah. but don't don't look at me as if I'm, I'm everything. Mm -hmm. Also you, mm -hmm. you must do something. Pastor Kuri, do you believe that God mm -hmm. made men as the main provider in a household? God made man as a protector of the family. Yes, a protector, a priest, a provider, the main provider. You are, you are, you are putting a provider there. Mm -hmm. yeah. So God did provider, not... Provider should be both of us. So God innately did not make the man the head, which automatically makes him the main provider. The pastor. man is the head. You are mixing things. Mm -hmm. Man is the head. But the head does not produce. What produces the hands? Where are the hands? They are Okay. <laughs> they, are, they, are, they, are, they, are, they are below the neck. Okay. <laughs> All right. right. George, you, you're a convener of the show saying, I don't get what you want. Yes. What have you found out? What is the main disconnect? The main, th actually, the, the topic we're having to, uh, tomorrow is this um, love versus money. Yeah. What pastor, just first to respond to what pastor said. Uh, pastor, I'm very proud. Finally, I said, men are dogs and I'm happy now. The coupe in Atukula. But on a, on a, on a serious note, um, <laughs> I think, I think um, it, it comes from first how we have been socialized, yeah. the expectations. So there's the expectation that the man is the provider 
and the woman is a lucky catch. So for example, the 23 year old, he finishes school and the first thing he, he does is that he's, expo he's expected to get into a career so that he can afford a wife. That is the general thing. So you're, you're actually putting in his head that he needs to save, it's almost like buying a car. He needs to save to buy a wife. That's not real because even, even broke people have love. Mm. You know what I mean? Yeah. It's not, it doesn't mean if you're broke, your heart is put somewhere and, and then you can retrieve using some cash. Mm. And unfortunately, we all socialized by first, our first socialization was Cinderella. Cinderella was a prince charming, mm. shows up, you your work was to comb your hair, sleep, look beautiful. The guy shows up, he asks you, and immediately after, then Cinderella used to end up happily ever after. They never said how they ended up living. So that's our first socialization. Second socialization, social media. All relationships you ever see are having happy times. <laughs> so your expectation is first, the show of love has been trinkets, buying you stuff. Then two, uh, that I'm keeping treating you right is I'm taking you to expensive places. That's what you're seeing. That's what you're growing up seeing. So that, that's what everyone aspires to because no one is, um, no one is posting, hey, today we had dinner with my husband. We are so happy. No one is posting that. Today he, he, he washed the dishes. Today I helped him uh, pay the rent. No one, no one is talking about this. Thing. So uh, the current generation is like, this is the role models. Now, pile that on top of, we have an instant generation and everyone is a winner. So we all went to university. Uh, the current generation, everyone goes to university. Everyone is beautiful. Everyone is a leader. Pile all that. This thing is not going to last in any way. And what we found is that right now, sad to say, we're in a transaction of love versus money. And I think with time, we'll stop beating at the altar and meet at the team. If we, if we keep at this, we'll meet at the team. So till, Still brokenness do as a part. I think that's where we're headed. <laughs> Dixon, I want to hear your point from all this conversation. <laughs> well, uh, you, you said something that really touched me. We were speaking about expectations, right? Yes. And uh, you say something about pity. It you say them, Trevor. The, the, oh, it's Trevor. <laughs> yeah. You say the moment you come into a relationship and say pity, you see, what you see is pity. What you perceive as pity is not pity to me. Well, that's you understand? The thing. And that's the reason why I was talking about it. Then it has to be a selfish approach. Because yeah. if, if I think she's petty, uh -huh. and you don't necessarily think the same thing, it means the next woman I'm looking for, I have to ensure that trait is not in her. However, the catch is, there's always another trait which I probably don't like in that other woman. So uh -huh. how, that's what I wanted Liz to, to, to decipher for us. So how do you toe the balance? Mm. Yeah. You see, there are some subtle signs that we, 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 we tend to, to ignore, you know. Uh, I take my girl out on a date, right? And um, the way she treats the waiter is, doesn't quite augur well with me, you know. Because, you know, tomorrow when I wrong her, that waiter will be me. You understand? But uh, we, won't, we will overlook these things and say, uh, okay, we can just do, you know, and, and we go on. Simple things like, why did you leave forms on the wall after taking bath? You understand? These are simple things. They're minute. But the moment you come into my life, they are big things to me. I don't like form on the wall after taking bath. You understand? I don't like that. It's a very specific <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> 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 just form on the wall. Yeah, like just put the sign up there. Wow. Put forms on the wall. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Put a, a, a sign up there. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I like Do not leave. Yeah. Yeah. I don't I like form for a yeah. 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 Like, I don't like that. Yeah. So if you come to my house, yeah, I expect like. you to <laughs> flow with me. Mm. You understand? But here's the thing, and that's what uh, that's what the catch is. You're expecting her to do one, two, three. We're expecting him to do one, two, three. Exactly. But have you communicated that you don't like form in the shower? That's the other thing. Well, we never communicate, but we expect our spouses to automatically know. No, that's what that's what I was saying. Petty. You understand? Because when I tell you and you'll be like, baby, you're always petty. Like <laughs> form really, you know, we'll wash it when it's time. You know. But that also, I think, um, <clears throat> brings us to the point of tolerance. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you know, true. Because um, this generation is not very tolerating mm -hmm. of petty things. Let's call them petty things. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So we 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 to, to for a relationship to be sustainable, there are things that you will not like, as Trevor says. Mm. Yeah. There are things you will not like, but there are things you will say: Is this a battle, or is this a war? Do I have to 
mm-hmm. like really really fight about this mm-hmm. or is this something i can just say okay i so can leave at least the question should have compromised on the form but, but maybe he may not compromise on maybe finances you yes. all have to compromise at some 80, point 20. Mm. so you have to well, identify but, yeah. but these <laughs> battles can become wars just because of the way you react to it if i tell you i don't like form on the walls and you're like maybe why are you being so petty and i'm like i just said <laughs> i don't, I don't like, like form on the walls <laughs> 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 And then all of a sudden she's like, why are you talking to me like that? I was like, I'm the man of the house. Oh. No, I'm the one of the Now it's wow. a whole war. Yeah. It is just form, but now it's a war. Okay. You, you know, I think- <laughs> I, I, allow me to say this. Like, right. so, sorry, I, I, I know I, I has not spoken. But again, we have a very romantic, beautiful image. And I wish everyone was married before they went to school first. So that you understand how hard this thing is. Yeah. Because you're actually taking somebody who was not related to you, born of you, and accepting their whole self. You yourself, you don't like everything about you. But you want this person mm. to be this 100% yeah. thing. Yet you spend more time. Yet you, than yourself, you, you, there are right. things even about you right. don't like. And, right. you, and you're quick, for mm. you, you're quick to um, pick your, what does it say, your intentions. Right. So we say, I didn't mean to, but... But for them, when they do an action, it's their action, and you crucify. And let me tell you, relationship is about focusing on the 20%. It's not about the 80 that's good. It's about when you meet somebody, you stay at, at the 20, and you say, you know what, I can live with this. Then you date them. Mm-hmm. It's not about the 80 that I like. 